Taryn Stone, we yes. meet at last. We do meet at last. How are you, Sebastian? I'm very good. Good. You know, uh, it's raining here. What's it doing there? Same. Oh, wow. There you go. Well, it's the same I've, kind of day. I have been hearing all of your voices since that old man from Naruto. Oh, my gosh, Naruto. Yeah. I started uh, with uh, Digimon, I Digimon, see. and a couple of computer games long, long ago in the the uh, Star Trek 25th anniversary thing. That's where I started. But yeah, the old man Naruto and yeah, other things. I did several other voices in there, but uh, we don't always take credits, you know, in the credit section. Yeah, uh, for a long time in the, the 80s and the 90s, there were a lot of projects we worked on and I didn't take credits on. So well, well all I know is that. I know about your credits, you know? Well, there you I've go. I've known about your voice work, along uh, with other several voice actor friends that, that yeah. I was able to get in touch with, like uh, yeah. like Fred Tattashore and uh, Jim Maskamen. Car, I saw. And many varieties of actors I was able to get in touch with, even Lex Lang. Because <laughs> I've always wanted to interview that guy, you know? Since, of course, I'm interviewing his friend Richard Epcar by November, which he told ah, me no, he wants him. to do it. Yes, that'll be good. So tell me about mm -hmm. this. How does it feel about being a voice actor in anime? Uh, in anime, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun, of course, in the first place, but it uh, depends on which kind of fun by which character you get. Um, I've been a hero many times. Uh, the first anime I did a lot of work on uh, was a thing called Magic Knight's Ray Earth, where I was Ferio when he was the hero, even though it was driven by three uh, female leads, he was the, the hero lead that helped them. But I also played a, the bad guy in that, which was uh, Innova, who was uh, pretty evil. But um, the evil characters, a lot of times are more fun to play, like Mayuri, in, in Bleach, he was wonderful to play. He'd fight you, beat you, then take you back and experiment on you. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's something I began to learn from but, you. But uh, anime is, is a lot of fun. Um, the, the only thing that I have a problem with uh, sometimes is that usually when you're in the studio, you're by yourself most of the time. So you're you're not getting to actually interact with the other characters that your scenes are with so that's the only thing that kind of makes it a little uh but sometimes if they've recorded their part you can hear it in your cans and so it's like you're talking to them even though they're not there yeah but anime and the fans the fans of anime are great always yeah. have them. yeah and for me of course i'm actually one of them because i've seen a lot of a lot of your your shows of anime like oh. that show like that show called Bleach, which yeah. has like it has Johnny Young Boucher, Michelle Roth, Stephanie She, Liam O'Brien, many varieties of anime voice actors. Oh, it's got that tons I have studied for years. Yeah, tons of us are in there. Because I actually do their in person, do one of their the voice actors of the show very well, like uh, Liam O'Brien. Well, I guess you haven't told what it is. Damn it. All these damn headbands will know what it means to be unnecessary. Doesn't doesn't mean you have to save the world. That doesn't make you a hero like that. Mm, pretty good job. Leon better watch out. Yeah. I think, think you need to come to LA and knock him off. Oh, oh don't work. worry. Because there's one thing. But before I tell you, there's something there's, I want you to know about me, but um. This is what I wanted to say to you, but um, I have autism and um, mm. and I was only diagnosed with it when I was three years old. And ah. yeah, I, that's why people call me special for a reason. Cause well, and because want, we are special. Yes. And the only reason why I wanted to interview a lot of voice actors, including you, was because I wanted them to recognize me and know that I have a special talent of becoming what I was always meant to be, a uh -huh. true voice actor and writer who has a lot of ideas about what Ooh. to bring into many stuff. 
And plus, Good. I have practiced a lot of voices in years that mm. this should be my perfect chance. Plus, I just turned 19 by October. There you go. So, yeah, perfect opportunity to finally achieve my goals. Sounds good. Because, yeah. Definitely. Go forward on that. You bet. And tell me, I have a, a one important question. Yes. How, how, how did you get into voice acting when you were only young? Um, I started as a singer. I was originally a, a professional singer. And uh, after a period of time, I uh, was asked to do uh, some what they call uh, jingles, where you're singing on the commercial. You know, you have a commercial and then you hear a voice singing whatever the, the jingle is for the, the company. And so I was doing those for a while. And one day I was in a studio and there were two connecting studios and the directors of the two different projects knew each other. And on a break, the one director came over to talk to my director. And so he said, uh, Terrence, can we take a break? I said, sure. Well, when they do that, you don't hear what's going on in the sound booth because they of course mute that so they can talk and you're not listening to them talk. Um, so I'm thinking they're not hearing me either. So to keep my voice warmed up and everything, I started doing a lot of different voices and characters and, and stuff, just messing around, you know. I mean, I might, I might go, what are you doing? Why in the world would you do that? Well, that helps push my lower range down. And then I might turn around and go, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Stop. To get my upper range. And then I would just do, I would do goofy accents and things like that, you know. And then I, I might be Russian, who knows? Because if I'm Russian, then I can be silly and work on the back of my throat. So I just goofing around doing characters. And this other director heard me. He had a, a series of radio commercials he wanted to do where he wanted it to be a talk show host at a radio station. And all these different people call in. And it's comedy though but he wanted to hire one person to do all the voices and so when he heard me do that he hired me to do that and so I went over and the commercials were fun but they also became really popular and did very well and so from that when people see you or hear you on tv especially for like commercials and things then a lot of times a producer or director will go oh get me that person for the next project we're working on or they'll say uh, when we do casting, bring that person in. And so that's how a lot of that starts. So I just, uh, I started doing voiceover by accident and then I started getting asked to do more and more. And then I ended up being a radio DJ, which is using your voice all the time. And there you go. After I'd done quite a few commercials and uh, projects and charity uh, things in the Midwest, I started getting on camera and eventually came out to LA and uh, got in with uh, Richard Epcar and Michael Sorich and a bunch of uh, the old group, as we call it now, back in the late eighties. And that's when we were doing like Digimon and things like that, eighties and early nineties. Whoa. It just, it just kept going from there. So I guess I'd say I got into it by accident. Wow. <laughs> Things always got into accidents, you know? Yeah. That's, that's what Lucky most people accident. usually do. I'm taking yeah. a drink now. Don't look. Oh, don't worry. You're looking. I know you are. Oh, I'm not even looking, man. I'm just looking at a truck outside. <laughs> oh, that's right here is one of my own voices I like to do a lot. Yes. Because, yeah. By the way, you know who's the reason why I wanted to interview you? Who's that? Does the name Chris Mayek mean something to you? Chris Mayek. The, the guy who, the Chris Mayek, one of your fo Facebook friends, the ones who interviewed you like a few months yes. ago. I knew I knew that name. Yes. Oh, he yeah, was, Chris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the main reason why I wanted to interview a lot of voice actors, oh, including good. you, Corey Walgren, Kirk Thornton, and Neil Kaplan, and many others. Even yeah. Paul said Peters as well. Well, St. Peter. Yeah, I hired him uh, just a few months ago on a new computer game that I'm directing. Yes. Oh, yeah. Because you know why I wanted to interview all those voice actors? 
Why did you want to do that, my friend? <sighs> because I get so jealous every day <laughs> trying to, to about why can I do do what these people does get in touch yeah. with every single voice actors. Ah, <sighs> you can. It's, and I am so lucky I got in touch with some of them who wanted to interview me, including Joe Altsman and uh, Fred Tattershore, Jonathan Lippo, Jim yeah. Maskerman, and many others. Yeah. They all were impressed with what I've been doing. Plus, yeah. you know who I was able to get in touch with? Who's that? A creator of the Cartoon Network show, Victor and Valentino, Diego Mulano. Oh, yeah. The, and, and you know what else? These are good people, yeah. He turns out he's actually friends of my mother's cousin, Daniel Cuevo. <laughs> Which made what me realize odds? that going to his show might be the perfect way for me to to, to finally become yeah. a voice actor. And yeah. fortunately for me, I was able to talk things out with him. And, oh, good for you. And you know what he told me after I told him about an episode that I'm doing for him? What did he say? He told me to have it done so that he can help me get into his show as a voice actor and writer, which Very unfortunately, incredible. I got my episode done. And Maybe just that's... like that, plans on wanting to have a Zoom meeting with me. There you go. Just like, just like Richard Apcar wanted to have a Zoom meeting with me on November. Yeah. So yes, things are turning out perfect, you know? Me yeah. having what I want. I just finished working on Lupin. Doing some more stuff on Lupin. Yeah. I have to do Richard Apcar's voice very well, like this. Well, if you think about wanting to do whatever it means necessary, then go ahead. I don't give a damn about about your about your sorry ass. So why why don't you just go ahead and hand over and give us back our friend Lupin? <laughs> yeah. I also do yeah. Yeah. I also do Lex Ling's voice like yeah, do you really think you can possibly know what it means to deal with this type of villain? This villain is going to destroy the world, and he has to be stopped. Wow, very good. Yeah, yeah I practiced good. all of the voice actors impersonations for years, including mm. my friend on, on Instagram, Yuri Lowenthal. Yuri Lowenthal, yeah, yeah, Yuri's fun. Yeah. I was a lot when I was directing uh, Spy Kids. For yeah. uh, Netflix, when I directed that, we brought him in a couple of times. Yeah, yeah, well, he's very very good, I've been here for years. Yeah. So yeah, you know, he video chat with me like a few days ago, and it turns yeah. out he wanted to. Oh, he always wanted to meet me since he sees my Twitter posts on, and of course, see my Instagram stories. They thought yeah. one of these days I wanted to video chat with that guy. There until we go. did. And you know what else? I joined his class for, for October 29th just to make sure I learned about voice acting. Good. And for several months, I have been taking a lot of voice acting classes. Mm -hmm. and I thought, man, I need a lot of voice acting men mentors just so I can learn the ways of voice acting. Yeah. So that when I do that, I will finally learn what it means to be a true voice actor for yes. many animated shows and movies. And it's smart that you're talking to a lot of different people because there's no one way to do something that's always correct. I mean, each one of us have similar things, but we all, each one of us have different things we've learned, different techniques. Uh, some of us, like I, use trick voice um, where I can harmonize my own voice. You know, that's, that gets you in the industry sometimes with the uh, trick voices or creature things or specialty kind of voices. So if you don't have that, you know, then it's a lot of times who you know that is already working that can help you make contacts, you know? Yeah. And so, that's why that's you important. are one of them, you know? Mm, yes. You know which voice actors I've always wanted to interview with and to accept my friend request on Facebook? Who's that? There are a few few I wanted them to accept, like Neil Kaplan. Mm. And uh, of course, and of course, uh, Kirk Thornton, which Kirk one Thornton. time Chris Mayek told me that he asked you about wanting to tell Kirk Thornton to accept his friend request just so I can he I can have an interview with him. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. I've also wanted to get in touch with Kari Walgren, the most important person I've wanted to talk to for a long time because I've been searching my ways to get in touch with her. But every time I do it, epic failure. Yeah, Carrie's really hard. Uh, she is really protective of her information and how you get a hold of her and stuff. Because, because but she has agents that you know want to be controlling of uh, keep her safe and everything a lot. So because it's hard to get to her. Because me, unlike all all other fans, I'm a guy who likes to interview a lot of people. Because I'm not like the other fans. I'm mm. an expert, a master who studies a lot of voice actors for years, mm -hmm. including your voices as well. Ah. But that's the reason why I wanted to get in touch with everyone for, including you, because of me studying them. And plus, you know what, what happened yesterday after I posted that Facebook post about our interview? What happened? Paul said, Peters, like my Twitter, my Facebook yeah, post. There because, you go. Because lately, some voice actors just like my, my stuff, you know. They thought, yeah. one of these days, I wanted to, to meet that guy. Yeah, there so, you go. That's how it starts. Yeah, and that's what makes me so happy. Getting Good. everyone to know me well. So, yeah. Oh, by the way. I followed you on Instagram as cartoonist Sebastian. Oh, okay. As the same profile as Facebook. And yeah, yeah. because everyone has the right to know about, about my tr true identity and what are my true intentions. So I explained it out to you. Good. And for me, I also wanted to learn about what it means to be a true voice actor. Mm -hmm. So I seek advice from everyone, including you. Good. Yeah, it's many different opinions and people you can talk to that are doing it. Be sure that you're getting your information from people who are doing the work, not people who kind of have been around the edges or did it years and years ago. You want to talk to people that are still doing it now because yeah. even in the last couple of years, a lot of the techniques and a lot of the equipment and the ways of recording have changed a lot because of COVID and everything. So, yeah. you know, you want to stay up to date on what's happening. Yeah. That is my true reasoning about why I wanted to get in touch with many people for us because just for many years, people keep demanding for these stuff to happen. I thought I need to find a way to get in touch with every single actor just to let them know about, about what, I, what I wanted and what is it what I need for best for everyone. So, Have you I, put a demo tape together yet of uh, the different voices you can do? I actually showed off my voices to, to Diego Mulano. Mm -hmm. I must say, he was impressed with my voices. Yeah, you should send a, make a demo tape because you'll have to have that to get an agent anyway. And oh. then everyone that you have of us that you've done interviews with or still or have the contact information on, send the demos out to all of us so we can hear it and we can then have something that we can pass on to other, like, directors or other voiceover talent to make people aware of you like like mary elizabeth mcgellan that mm -hmm. that voice director yeah, who awesome. i've always wanted to have her accept my friend request because yeah, great i because i've waited months for her to accept my friend request since i have interviewed all of her friends mm. so of course one of them richard apcar will interview me my november so that's yeah. the reason of of her wanting to accept my friend request because of that. Yeah. See? Hmm. That gets out, starts to spread, and there you go. Because everyone has the right to know. So that's why I started my YouTube channel. Good. Which, of course, Great. my YouTube channel actually gained a lot of popularity, actually. Oh, that's excellent. My most recent watching is my is my interview with Yuri Lewenthal. Everyone's like... How are, you, how are you even doing this? How did you get in touch with that guy? And I said, simple. I go to the website GalaxyCon in order to finally uh, get Galaxy in touch Con. with him. Yep. Chris Mayek, of course, he got in touch with that guy a few months ago. And it made me so jealous that I wanted to get in touch with that guy. Yeah. Until GalaxyCon came along and I mm -hmm. thought, 
maybe this website could be my one chance to finally get in touch with that guy yeah. until yeah. I did. And he's, you know, what the first thing he said to me, hello, he said to me, Sebastian, we meet at last. <laughs> and Yuri I'll, is a great guy. Yuri's fun to work with. And his, he was one of the, uh, the ones that when we first started in the, the eighties and the nineties. Yeah. Yuri's I do his guy. voice very well. Like, uh, I also had to step back. From what I've heard, most of the magical heroes see the same way. Gardenia, why is the last fair on the earth has to be in this lame town? Must have been difficult for such a powerful creature to live among these meteorocity. Mm. Very nice. Yeah, because I've seen him yeah. in the recent show called uh, D.O.T. Dragon's Blood. Oh, yeah, yeah. Where he voices along with one of one of my number number one voice actor Tony Todd. Tony Todd, yeah. I do his voice very well. Like, no, but you will see how you do doubted me. Now you will see how much you learn. Why have you come to this place? Hmm. Very good. Nice yeah. job. Sounded like him. Yeah. Had his range, everything very nice. And I also do Ron Perlman, you know. I um, worked with Ron a lot. Ron's a friend. Why don't I feel the rest of it coming? Burn his hut to the ground is one simple task that I've given out to you. Do not disappoint me. I'll show you that I am not holding back. <laughs> Yeah, Ron's really great. I've acted on camera with Ron before and used to know him uh, a little yeah. bit. Yeah, I've always wanted to interview that guy. Yeah, Ron's great. Ron's really great. He's a great guy. So, yeah, good luck. You know, what, you know what show I've always wanted that guy to be in? Hmm. That show called DC Superhero Girls. Oh, yeah. yeah. Which, well, of course, who, who knows? He may end up being on it before long. You, is, you know which character I wanted him to play as? The character Black Mask, one of the DC comic villains of Batman. Oh, yeah. Because him... would be perfect for that. Yep. Him becoming that villain will be a perfect way to fit in yeah. with Tara Strong's voice acting of Batgirl. Yeah. She'll, you'll be like, oh, calm now, Batgirl. You have no idea who you're facing with. So why don't you just come up and face your ne the inevitable? <laughs> Yeah, he'd be perfect for that. Ron's great for anything that he does. But yeah, yeah that would be good. Yeah. Since, of course, he voiced the Lich in, in Adventure <laughs> Time and does in a lot of great animated shows and movies. Oh, yeah. He does a lot of computer games, animated shows, TV. Yeah. Movie. Yeah. So, I yeah. On several projects, some voice, some on camera with him. I had yeah. a scene just he and I in a, a movie years ago, back in the early 90s. And he ends up killing me with a poison ring. Right. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh. oh, I remember that. I remember seeing you with, with Ron Perlman. Yeah, Ron's great. He's great. Yeah, and you, you know about Keith David, right? Sure. Keith, I do his voice very well. Like, So, you're looking for a job. I get what you're saying there. So, why did you expect of me to learn about the demon who carries off the the will of your own matter and hands. Wow. Because you. you know, I've learned that his first voice acting role was in that anime show called 3X3 Eyes with Keith Sarabaiha. Yeah. 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 So yeah, he was oh. he was playing this character called Mama. Mama. Which he's, where he does very well, of course. Oh yeah. Being well, He's like Ron. Both of those two guys, anything they do is going to be great. And Tony Todd also. Oh, yeah. Earth. Tony's always been good. Yeah, especially when it comes to playing a lot of villains. Yes. Yeah. I've always also wanted that guy to be in DC Superhero Girls. <laughs> Tony so, would be good. Because Tony will be perfect for that show since he yeah. most acted in DC animated shows such as Batman the Brave and the Bold. Where he plays Astaroth. Astaroth. Yeah, I was. I do his voice like, 
I sense your pressure beyond your temptations. So be aware, or you are not immortal yet. Wow! Look at that. Yeah. Nice. Well done. Yeah, I because I practice a lot of voices throughout my time, and、mm-hmm. I need some voice acting equipment just so I can make sure I, you know, get everything over with.、Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Is well, your what you have now is sounding great. Yeah, that is very good actually. So yeah, that's a thing that I begin. So、um, you play in video games, right? Sure. So, and how does it feel being in video games? Uh, depends on the characters. Um,、uh, I did a series called、uh, Dynasty Warriors as、uh, sort of the the main. I became my character became the main face of the、uh, the game, Zhao Yuan. He was like a a young warrior, and I did him for about nine years. He was fun.、Uh, a lot of action, a lot of fighting, all that kind of stuff. Learning how to pronounce、uh, Chinese names and places、uh, with actually speaking the accent correct,、uh, like in anime where you have to learn sometimes to do your uh, uh, your Japanese、uh, chants and and things. You have to speak in Japanese, or you have to do accents just right. Those are the hard parts, but.、Uh, The acting part is is、uh, a lot of fun.、Um, then、uh, I've done you know tons of series or guest starred in just about everything over the period of time. But、uh, of course now I'm the the main character and the face of、uh, Hearthstone for Blizzard, uh, uh, the innkeeper.、Uh, so、uh, uh, matter of fact, I've got to record some more of him next week. You're going to record、uh, next week? Yeah, yeah.、Oh. I, Well, well, hard to know. I, I go in and do、uh, about every,、uh, usually a couple of times a month. I mean, there hasn't been a lot to do the last two years because there has no conventions, not a lot of new stuff coming Ever out. Since the、there. pandemic happened, <sighs> Warcraft, you know, is fun to do. I'll be doing some of that.、So. Warcraft. Now that I remember, the innkeeper was fun. Well, I've done、oh、God over sixty characters in Warcraft since it started in two thousand and two. I think is when our first one came out. Yeah, and then I've done like forty some odd characters in Hearthstone. So,、uh, but you know, I've I've done the in、uh, for Hearthstone,、uh, being the innkeeper. You know, yeah. Welcome, come inside and have a, a sit by the fire. You know. So, yes, all that, and then I'm the tutorial and everything there too. But I get to use a Scottish accent, and that's great. It's a lot of fun. So, being a Scottish, you know, you know. that voice of yours in your British accent, you kind of reminded me of another voice actor named Robin Atkin Downs. Hmm. Don't he's don't he's one of the one of Corey Walgren's friends who he worked with. He sounded like. Don't be deceived by appearances. My true form is more powerful, and you possibly know ancient spirits of evil transform the decay form into Mamra. <laughs> Don't know him, but he sounds like he is a fun character. He plays in Kingdom Hearts as the character Luxord, and also does in a in that the Ben Ten show as a Hex. Any voices in that? 2011 Thundercats as a Mamra and does in a lot of great animated stuff. Even does in video games as well. Okay. So yeah, that's、okay. why I know about his voice acting. You know,、ah, just as much I as、see. I know yours. Hmm. It's a because you know I'm actually working on on YouTube. What's that? I'm working on your voice showcase to make everyone remember your voices. What's the、uh, main voice I'm known for in movies?、Hmm. I'm talking about your voice acting, like your、yeah. actual voice acting. Yes, voice acting in movies. Because I want to know this one question: Gooby Doo Two, I'm the Ten Thousand Volt Monster, and a couple of other creatures、yeah. on that. What? How- in Dune, I'm uh, the uh, ethereal uh, ambassador with with Susan Sarandon called Edric. Yeah. 
because so, you know i looked up this website called behind the voice actors oh yeah yeah it's not that i saw that what year did he actually begin to voice act it in because that's a simple question i've been wanting to ask many others what year did i actually start yeah like voice acting what like what 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 is the first thing you voice acted in before before the others you came along to well like i say i i used to do a lot of commercials and character stuff and then when i was a radio dj for a while i did a lot of characters and everything um so i sort of started doing it then but i consider my voiceover career to actually have started when I came out to LA in 86, 1986. So that's when I would have started. Uh, I did a thing called uh, uh, the sh- the Booger show. Man and- uh, Booger Man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was silly. Oh, uh, and, and something, uh, some castle deep or some kind of thing <coughs> where I did a lot of warrior voices and everything. But really, uh, I guess when a lot of us got together and we started doing Digimon. Oh, no, Power Rangers. I was doing Power Rangers before Digimon. I see. So, yeah. So that is the key to, to knowing what, how to get your voice showcase over. Because I'm making one for you, just so everyone can remember your voices. Because mm. everyone has the right to know about them just as much as I do. Yeah. Appreciate that. I'm yeah. Happy. That is what I do, you know. Is I always support a You're lot. Making of- some magic, there. That's what you're doing, Sebastian. You're making some magic. It's awesome. Yeah, because yeah, <laughs> that is very funny of you, actually. You know, every well, thank time- you very much, Sebastian. I appreciate that. <laughs> that is what I do. Yes, that is what I do. And by the way, do it very well. Yes, I see. Yes. That. And by the way, this recording here is actually for my YouTube video that I am making, ah, so okay. everyone can recognize it. Even Chris Mayek and other several voice actors <laughs> who wanted to who wanted to make who I want everyone to see. And um, I have a favor to ask you. Yes, if you ever see. If you you uh, you're friends with a lot of voice actors like Kirk oh, Boyd, yeah. right? And sure. Neil Caitlin. And Who? Like Neil Who's Caitlin. Uh, Neil don't Kaplan. Know. Don't know that. Oh, Kaplan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. If Kaplan. you're in touch with that guy or any other voice actor, mm-hmm. would you tell them about about me so that Oh yeah. Because I really wanted to interview them since I've interviewed all of their friends. Mm-hmm. because for many months I've been trying to get them to accept my friend request just so I can let them know that mm-hmm. I've interviewed all of their friends so that yeah. they could be one of them. Sounds great. Will you do that for me as a oh, friend? Yeah. Of course. That's, I know you will. That's why you're one of my favorite actors. <laughs> to be honest. We, we all have to help each other. That's how you get going forward. <laughs> I am so happy you said that. I am so happy. Well, this has been fun. Yeah, it has been fun, actually. And to be honest, you're actually a really nice guy. Like I just like Fred Tattashore, Jim Maskerman. And you know what happens every time I see your face? Oh, no. You you get scared and run away. No. You reminded reminded me of my grandfather. Uh Aw. Who tells a lot of advice. And to make sure I do what's right in order to be to be successful, you have to learn how to map to get things going. You have to work hard and be dedicational just so when you finally get what you want, things will end up going your way. That is your will. You have to plan your work, then work your plan. Well, wow. now, now that's something that my grandfather taught me. And he's still here in where go. I live. Good. Oh, that's great. That's great. Sounds <laughs> like a good grandfather. I'm a grandfather. I hope I'm as good a grandfather as he is. You you, you are, you know. And if you have kids, you will always need to tell them some simple good advice. To always be pr- 
and and active and always make sure you do what's right because mm -hmm. if you do the right stuff then you will be successful and that you Thank will you. get what you want yeah. that and is help, help anybody else that you can possibly help along the way too yeah pass it along help someone else yeah mm -hmm. and, um, i have a favor to ask you yeah if you have instagram would you like to follow me since i since your other voice actor friends like Fred Tattashore, Cetra Gell Williams, and many others. Just follow. Well, now them. that I know that it's you, I'll go on there and I'll start following you. It's a, it's, its name is Cartoonist Sebastian, and has the same profile as the Facebook one. Okay. Yeah, I saw that when it came up on the screen right before our Zoom started. So yeah, I know who you are now. Okay. Yeah. I'm good. so glad you respond. You were you said the correct answer, and that <laughs> makes me feel good. And good. Yeah, that's why people call me autistic or because of the way I am. Mm. That's okay. <laughs> it sounds good. That's, yeah, that is good, actually. Because when you have autism, you do a lot of good stuff for the people, you know, the ones oh, close yeah. to you. That's mm -hmm. what my mother taught me. And um, one more thing. Yes. My mother is actually a famous actor who actually appeared in two golf shows. One is the big break in 2005, and the mm -hmm. other is in 2019's Holy Moly with Stephen Curry. Ah, and very nice. So she's the reason about why I wanted to get on TV to Victor and Valentino oh. for, because of yeah. her being on TV. So yeah. that's why I worked very hard to get people's attention to me, including you and all the voice actors that I wanted to get in touch with. You have to do that. You have to go out and grab your dream. It won't just come to you if you sit there and dream about it. You have to go out and actually physically make it happen. You have that's, to, especially these days. Yes, that's what I'm doing right now. I yeah. can't just sit by and, and do nothing. I yeah. got to do this. I have to make sure I get things over with so that yeah. I can finally get what I wanted, including mm -hmm. finally talking to you there like you that. <laughs> Well, I've enjoyed talking with you. And I'm enjoying talking with you, too. And um, one more thing. One, one more, more thing. thing. Yes. If, and that one more thing is I'm going to be posting a Facebook post about us in our interview so that everyone may know about this, including your voice actor friends. Oh, good. So including yeah. Neil Kaplan and everyone else who should see yeah. this as well. Have you posted any of the others that you've done? Yes, I did. Good. You should post them all. Every time you do one, you need to post it so people are aware. That's what I've been doing, like, for the past few months. That's the smartest way to do it. Because <laughs> when those of us in the industry or those of us in the voiceover community, we see people we know have already talked with someone, then we're even more comfortable with talking with them ourselves you know so yeah the so, more you um, post about who you've talked with the more you'll be able to talk to other people yeah that's what i've been doing all this time well, there you go yeah and uh by the way this is for my youtube video that i'm doing so um i want you to say out to the fans and just tell them the simplest advice about how to get in touch with you um I have, uh, uh, of course, uh, Instagram, of course, is the best way to find me. I have a, a website, IamTerrenceStone.com. Uh, Terrence is T-E-R-R-E-N-C-E. -E. And, of course, Stone is S-T-O-N-E. But uh, send me uh, things there. Uh, my agency is Whitaker Entertainment uh, in LA right now. So you can also send things there. And right now uh, I'm reworking uh, my fan site and everything. I want to upgrade it and everything uh, because of COVID. I've found, you know, a lot of us have found different uh, technical things that we can do and we've had to do because we haven't been able to get out to conventions and everything and meet with the fans. So I'll be reworking that here. Uh, in the mid November. So then I'll have more ways that fans can get a hold of me again. But that's pretty much uh, it for right now. 
So, or through Blizzard or whatever, you know, you uh, go through Blizzard and especially for the innkeeper, you can get a hold of me with things through there. And, and like, and check out his uh, behind the voice actors.com to search oh. up all his voices so that yeah. you may know about all of his voices and years or go to the IMDb to make sure you know about him. And all of his other Pro problems. has a lot of the best stuff. Yes, and also that. That's perfect. <laughs> well, my friend. Well, this has been fun, Sebastian. It's been Thank fun, too. Including me. I always will include you. Always Thank will. You. Uh, you're going to have the promise me you're going to have a good rest of the day. Promise? I will. And uh, uh, would you promise me this? week, too. You, too. Would you promise me this for me? What's this? Would you promise me that you will tell some of your voice actor friends about our interview so that they may know that I wanted to interview them like I did with all of your all of your friends? You including, bet. Including Fred Tash or many others. Yes, I will do that. Thank you very much. And that's why you're one of my favorite actors. Well, thank you, Sebastian. Hope you have a, like I say, a great uh, sense of luck and achievement going forward in what you're working on and uh, much goodwill towards you. Thank you, and I'm such honored. All right, take care of yourself. Uh, you too, my friend, and I'll see you then on Facebook. Bye, Sebastian, come on. Bye, and I'll see you on Facebook. Yes, all right. Yeah. Okay, bye. Bye. <laughs> bye, Sebastian. Bye. Ha, ha, ha.